Eight, uh, South Central Calhoun under head coach Clive Clark coming in 1-0 on the season, a 57-35 victory over South Hamilton uh, for Esac County under head coach Todd Bontrager, two of the long-term coaches here in our area and two of the top programs in our area going to be squaring off in this one here tonight. The uh, Raiders coming in 0-1 oh, on the season, falling up at uh, Woodbury Central 61-44 uh, earlier this week. So um, I'm interested in this one here. Uh, South Central Lake's got the potential to be really, really good. Sounds like they struggled for a good portion uh, of that uh, game the other night uh, against South Hamilton, but then was able to come on and, and kind of take control. For Esac County, that final score of 61-44 was a little deceiving. Um, didn't get a lot of offense from a lot of different players. T uh, Tyler Schmidt uh, kind of dominating things uh, for them. Um, but they were in that game in the third quarter and even into the early part of the fourth quarter before things kind of started to slip away from them. So uh, we'll see how they come out and compete tonight and uh, if that team has taken a step forward. Both of these teams I expect to come out and play much better here tonight than maybe what they have uh, and did uh, the other night. Uh, you always see a jump from that first game to the second game, so it'll be interesting to see how that jump goes here tonight. Taking a look at our starting lineups here tonight. Uh, first of all, uh, for the South Central Calhoun Titans, they'll start a six-foot junior in Joe Clark, a six-four senior in Joshua Dietrich, a six-two sophomore in Gavin Bata, also a six-foot junior in Eli Wheelock, and a five-ten junior in Tyler Leitner. For Esac County here tonight, uh, they'll start a 5'11 junior in Weston Drost, a 5'11 junior in Aiden Vondrag, a 6'3 senior in Tyler Schmidt, a 6'3 senior in Kel Niehaus, and a 6'3 sophomore in Luke Wright. We're going to step away. We'll take a two-minute timeout. We'll be back with uh, more of our Mackie Motors pregame and tip-off coming up for you next year on Kick 106.7. Working as a team to achieve success is the only way towards victory. Hi, this is Kelly Danner. Having teammates that have your back isn't just for game day. It's important when it comes to your insurance coverage too. Roselle Mutual and Grinnell Mutual are here to provide you with a winning lineup of quality insurance no matter what your needs are. Give us a call today at 792-4525 for your commercial, farm, home, and auto insurance needs. Roselle Mutual, proudly insuring the area since 1876. Dreams People want and deserve more comfort, efficiency, and reliability, both in their homes and places of work. Dries Company will be there to meet these challenges, whether we are designing a new system or servicing your existing equipment. We are a rapidly growing company that strives to meet and exceed all your expectations. No matter if you are looking to buy new appliances or need the help from one of our certified technicians, we are here for you. We pride ourselves in our installation and service. Dries Company, servicing the Carroll area since 1933. Olson's Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and ski -Doo, trailers to tackle any job from H&H, &H, Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way in lawn and garden equipment with great products from x Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory trained technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll. From puddings to framing to finish, for farm, home, or commercial, for more than 90 years, Wallach Lumber Company has been proud to help our communities grow. With four convenient locations and one of the largest building material inventories in the area, we are sure to be able to fill all your building needs. From project design and estimating to friendly advice, we can't wait to be part of the process for you. Wallach Lumber, with locations in Wallach, Lakeview, Odebolt, and Carroll. We're not your grandpa's lumber yard. Quick start to this boys game here tonight. Gavin Bata knocking down the three after the Titans win the opening tip. Joshua Dietrich come up with a steal on the other end. Titans miss a three on this end, knocked out of bounds by the Raiders. It is Titan basketball, but now the ball hits off the bottom of the backboard. Aiden Vondrat comes up with a steal. He'll push it ahead, and the ball going to be knocked out of bounds. Are we going to get a whistle on a foul? Looks like we're going to get a whistle on a foul. And that is going to go on at Joe Clark, number one, on the six-foot junior for South Central Calhoun. Three to nothing at Titans with the lead. 7.22 left here in this first quarter up play. Just underway up here in Sac City tonight. Raiders looking to inbound. Had to lob it up high. Going up to get it is Western Drost. Drost gets it over to Vondrek. Back to Drost. Over to the left side to Niehaus. Down to Schmidt on the left baseline. Schmidt 
Back to Niehaus. Over now into the hands of Von Dreck. To Schmidt on the right elbow. Schmidt triple team. Kick pass down to the corner to Drost. Drost with it. Works it back now to... Uh, well, they'll kick it back to Drost from Von Drack. His three no good. Niehaus the weak side rebound in. Put yet. Kale Niehaus crashes the glass and grabs the offensive rebound on that weak side. Bad up top with it. Now over to Clark. Open for three. It's up and good. Joe Clark with the second three here tonight for South Central Calhoun. Titans up early at six to two. Bringing it up again. It's going to be Von Dreck. They'll work it to Schmidt down to Niehaus in the left corner. Niehaus dumps it back off to Von Dreck. Von Dreck will drive in. Runner in the lane from two up in good. So Aiden Von Dreck with his first bucket here tonight. That'll make it a six to four. Dietrich down in the left corner, kick pass over to Bata, now out, long three by Leitner, it's up no good, long rebound, we're going to have a collision, Vondrak will come up with it for the Raiders, he'll penetrate in, lay up on the left side, no good, knee outs with the offensive rebound, put back, Schmidt clears the glass, he'll miss it, goes back up and puts it back up and in. Three chances that time for the Raiders. They have rallied back to tie this one. We're tied for the first time here tonight as Joe Clark blows around Niehaus and lays it up and in. Nice move that time for Clark. And the Titans a lead at eight to six. Light pressure by South Central Calhoun. Niehaus lobs it in, gets it inside to Luke Wright. Shot up blocked by Dietrich. And tracking that one down is Abada. Long pass down now driving in. And the layup is up and good by Eli Wheelock. Wheelock with his first bucket here tonight. Titans back up four here at 10-6. Schmidt with it left side, penetrates in. Kick pass now out to Niehaus. Left side three from the wing, up no good. Offensive rebound, and we're going to get a foul inside on that rebound attempt, and that's going to go on Tyler Leitner. Leitner will pick up his first, a 5'10 junior for South Central Calhoun. Caleb Eichhorn will check into the lineup now for the Raiders. Also checking in is going to be Brody Beckman. Now get it in, and the jumper on the way from Eichhorn up no good. Weak side rebound taken down by Beckman. Back out to Eichhorn, three on the way, up no good. A rebound inside to Dietrich for South Central Calhoun. Dietrich with his first board, bat up, pump fake, drives in, kick pass up top. Dietrich's three on the way, up no good. Rebound taken down that time up by Wheelock, and Wheelock will lay it up and in over the front of the rim. Eli coming off a big game the other night. He's got four here early. The lead is six again for the Titans as they lead it 12 to six. Schmidt with it out high to left side. Long three on the way up in good. Tyler Schmidt not known as a three-point shooter last year. Looks like he's worked on that aspect of his game, and it's now 12 to nine. Wheelock open three left corner up no good. Battle for the rebound. Tipped out to Leitner. Dump pass inside. Tip stolen away by Beckman. So Beckman comes up with a steal. Raiders go inside. Got Luke right in there. The layup's up in good. So Luke right with his first bucket. Tyler Schmidt with the assist. It's a one point game here. 12 11. Josh Dietrich now off of a nice pass from Joe Clark. Clark picks up the assist. Dietrich picks up the bucket. And it's going to be his first here tonight. He had a low scoring game the other night, just three. Looking for him to break out here one of these nights. Luke Wright, jumper off the glass from the left side, up no good. And Tyler Schmidt comes up with the rebound. Now nearly knocked away. He'll save it. Now get it out top to Drost. Over now to Eichhorn. Back up to Drost. Three point shot up, in and out, no good. And the rebound taken down by Dietrich. Titans up a one as they'll drive down, driving in and taking some hard contact was Leitner. He's knocked to the floor, misses the layup. They'll head to the free throw line to shoot two. That foul going to go on Luke Wright. That is going to be number one on him. Team foul number one on the Raiders. Leitner's free throw on the way up, no good. We had a whistle and a foot violation going to go on Leitner. So even if he'd have made that one, it wouldn't have counted. Tyler, a pretty good at shooter. Leitner coming in at two tonight uh, from the free throw line. Has not made one yet, but had not attempted one coming into tonight. We've got a timeout back in 30 seconds here on kick 106.7. At Newey Ford and Coon Rapids and Newey Auto and Jefferson, we make your vehicle buying experience stress-free. 
Our sales team will help determine your vehicle. from the Gatorade broadcast booth distributed by Pepsi Beverages. Gatorade helping athletes fuel, recover, and perform. Tyler Leitner back at the line. Second free throw on the way up and good. The 5'10 junior with his first points here tonight puts the Titans up 15 to 11. Aiden Vondrak gets it over to the left side. Eichhorn has it stolen away, trying to feed it inside. Joshua Dietrich comes up with a steal. Leitner will push it up, gets it off to Bata. Back over to Leitner. Back over now to Bata, over to the right side to Dietrich, down to the right wing to Wheelock. Wheelock looking inside as Dietrich now goes in to post up. Him and Antonio Sanders, who's on the floor, in the low block. Dietrich going to step out, three-point shot, left corner, up in good. Wheelock picks up the assist. Dietrich with the three. He's got the ability to do that. He's got five. And the lead is now... Seven at 18-11. That is their largest lead here. Von Drecker, excuse me, draws to driving in. Runner is up no good. Rebound taken down by the Titans. They'll run it up now with Leitner off to Bata. Back to Leitner. Leitner skip passed over to Dietrich. Dietrich with the left wing. Penetrates in. Kick pass over to the right side to Leitner. Long three on the way. It shortened the rebound to Von Drecker. Von Drecker had it. We like behind him. You could hear everybody yelling Wolf. They'll find Beckman on the right side. Kick pass down to Schmidt. Tipped up into the air. It's a loose. Beckman tried to gain control of it as him and Dietrich were fighting for it. It goes out of bounds off of Beckman. And it is going to be South Central Calhoun basketball. Luke Wright will check out. And checking into the basketball game now is Tony Clare for Esac County. Clark will bring it up for the Titans. Raiders sitting in their 2-3 zone. They get it over to Wheelock. Now Clark cuts into the lane. Wheelock finds him, and he knocks down the little four-footer. Nice play that time for South Central Calhoun. Now work it out top to Vondrak. Vondrak over to Claire on the left side. 20 to 11 at Titans with the lead. Stretching that lead here late in this first quarter. Minute 45 left. Vondrak with it. Now inside to Schmidt. Little runner up in good. Vondrak found the cutter in the lane in at Tyler Schmidt. Schmidt's got seven here tonight. The Raiders down now 20 to 13. Quick three on the left side for Wheelock. That is up in good. Eli came on really strong late last season. He looks poised to have a big year this year. It's 23-13 South Central Calhoun. Vondrak drives up, bounce pass inside to Schmidt. Couldn't quite handle it. He's on the floor with the ball. He's got two guys around him. He's going to be tied up by Sanders and Dietrich. Possession error will favor Esac County. Dross checks back in now. He'll check in for Icorn for the Raiders. Raiders will inbound on the baseline. They'll box it up around the lane. Dross looking to get it inbound. Or Vondrak, excuse me. They get it into Schmidt. Left corner. Pump fake drives in on the baseline. Little runner up in good. Got it off the glass. Got himself all the way pretty much to the rim. Nice strong take that time by Tyler Schmidt. Bad over to the right side to Dietrich. Dietrich pump fakes, drives in, pull up jumper off the glass. Good, nice move up by Josh Dietrich. 25-15, South Central Calhoun with the lead. 50 seconds left here, first quarter. Von Drack drives in, will pull up runner in the lane up. No good, ball going to be out of bounds off of Tony Clare, and it will be Titan basketball. Quick shout out to New Way Ford in Coon Rapids, sponsoring sports on the go with me. The New Way Ford feature vehicle, a 2013 Avalon sedan. It's a front wheel drive. Call 800-861-7268 for more details or check out the Carol Broadcasting website at 1380kcim.com for a picture with more details. Bata firing up another long three. That one's up no good. Rebound taken down by Von Drack uh, for Isak. And we're going to get a reach in foul now on Dietrich, his first team foul number three on the Titans. So Central going to go a little deeper to the bench here. Jacob Kalkworf will check into the ballgame. He'll check in now for Dietrich. Got to meet Jacob. I haven't had a chance really to talk to him much in his career, but understand he's thinking about going into radio, so interested in what we do at Carroll Broadcasting, so need to have a conversation with him on that. Tyler Schmidt 
It drives in, nice strong take at the rim. He'll kiss it off the glass. He'll draw the foul and get himself to the free throw line. That foul. Gonna go on Antonio Sanders, his first. Kale Niehaus set to check back in. He'll check in now for Aiden Vondrak. 25-17 with Schmidt at the free throw line. Tyler, a 50% free throw shooter on the season. The free throw is up and good. Schmidt so quick, so explosive off of the ground as well. Baseline jumper by Wheelock, no good. Schmidt comes up with a rebound at number four for him. Six seconds left. Niehaus right corner three up in good with three seconds left. Kale Niehaus with the three. Titan shot at the buzzer off the backboard, off the rim, no good. But we've got a tight one here and a high scoring one, 25-21. South Central Calhoun here at the end of the first quarter. We'll step away. We've got the second quarter. That is one minute away right here on 93.7. Excuse me, on kick 106.7. At Carroll County Solid Waste, we deliver environmental services together. Why together? Because together we're stronger and more effective. We're proud to partner with you to recycle plastics. Recyclable plastic will have the number one or two inside the recycle symbol. It's generally a food, beverage, soap, or cleaner container. Make sure they're empty, give them a quick rinse if possible, and put the cap back on. These plastics are not recyclable. They belong in the trash. Visit our website at carrollcountylandfill.com for details of how you can be part of the recycling team because together, everyone achieves more. Being a part of a team is not only fun, it can give our students a sense of identity and help them develop long-term relationships. This is Dr. Nate Luth, Next Generation Chiropractic. Student athletes, make sure you are taking care of your body before, during, and after the game. Proper warm-ups and cool-down are vital to staying on the field or court, and having regular chiropractic appointments can help reduce the risk of injury. Stay in the game by taking care of your body. Good luck to all area student-athletes this season. Let's stay healthy and have fun. We'll welcome you back here on 93, excuse me, on Kick 106.7. I don't know why. I was on 93.7 the other night. Now I'm thinking I'm on it tonight. But I'm on Kick 106.7. Tightens up four with the basketball. Joe Clark's three left side up no good. Offensive rebound taken down by the Titans and Tyler Leitner. Now work it over to Wheelock. Back over to Clark on the left side. Clark into the left elbow now to Cutworth. Over to Clark. Three up again no good. Von Drack will come down with his fourth rebound. 25-21, South Central leading early second quarter. Vondrat drives in, runner up, no good. Battle for the rebound, you had Kalkworth and Sanders both fighting for it and it ends up going out of bounds off of those two. They were battling each other for it. As Luke Wright checks in for Claire, Dietrich will check in. Wheelock checks out, as does Kalkworth. Also checking in for South Central Calhoun is gonna be Ethan Myers. They get it inside, Niehaus off the glass, layup no good, but he'll draw a foul, and that one may go on Sanders. And that is going to be the call number two on him, team foul number four here in the half against the Titans. And Raider head coach Jason Phillips, one of the ESAC girls, set to join us at halftime to talk about their game earlier tonight. Kill Niehaus at the free throw line. His free throw is up and no good. Titans one to two at the line tonight as a team. Niehaus coming in, had not attempted a free throw yet this season, so he is now 0 for 1 on the year. Game number two for both of these teams. Second free throw up, no good, and the rebound taken down that time by Bata. Titans push it ahead. Raiders do a really good job getting back defensively. Leitner skips it now over to the left side. Clark drives in. Kick pass down to Bata, right corner. Bata now over to Leitner. Inside at two, Clark turnaround jumper inside the lane, shot up no good, and the rebound taken down by Luke Wright. Right with it, they get it off to Von Drack. He'll drive in, ball knocked away, and we're going to get a travel call. Went up in the air with the ball, came back now with it, the travel call. And the turnover will give it back over now to South Central Calhoun. Carroll girls with a big win tonight over a ranked Gilbert team. Well, that's a good win for Katie Cook in her second year as the head coach for the Carroll girls. Joe Clark with it, pull up jumper in the lane, shot up no good. Rebound batted around and taken down by Brody Beckman. 
Long pass down to right, just outside the right block. Fights his way in, pull up jumper off the baseline. No good, Bada comes up with a rebound. Bada will push it up left side. They get it off now into the hands of Leitner. Leitner pull up jumper just inside the right elbow, knocks it down. Tough shot that time for Tyler Leitner. Everybody thought, I think, that he was gonna kick the pass over here and ended up taking the shot. Beckman over to the left side now to Schmidt. Schmidt drives in, kind of stumbled momentarily, gathers his balance in and hits a tough runner. And that'll make it 27 to 23. Dietrich drives in, kick pass over to the left corner. Myers three on the way up, good. Ethan Myers, the 5'11 senior, knocks down the three. Dietrich with the assist, his first fourth of the night unofficially for the Titans. They lead it here 30 to 23. Long three now from Niehaus, trying to answer up no good. Schmidt tips the ball to himself. Now goes back up and lays it up and in. Such great body control for Tyler Schmidt. This young man's got to play sports somewhere in college. I, it doesn't matter to me what sport it is, either football or basketball. He's outstanding at both. And that's if he wants to. If he doesn't want to, I get it. But he is just so fun to watch play. 30 to 25. Schmidt with it on the left side. Out to Beckman. Left corner now. Drost with it. Skips it over to Niehaus. Niehaus will drive in. Runner in the lane up. No good. Luke Wright battling inside that time. But Joe Clark for the rebound. Jump ball possession now favors the Titans. Claire will check in along with Vondrak. Beckman and Niehaus will check out. Clark comes out. As Wheelock will check back in for the Titans. 5.15 left in this one. Roselle Mutual halftime report coming up. Motor and player of the game coming up following the ball game. Motor and of Carrier Premier Toyota Chevy and Buick dealership for everything from sales to service to parts and collision. Bannett with it over to the left side to Leitner. Leitner picked up there by Drost. Now work it over to the right side to Meyer. He was on the baseline, comes up on the wing. Now to battle. Left side it comes to Leitner. Leitner with it. Back off now to Wheelock over to Bata. Bata. Drives in, kick pass over to the right side. Now do it, Dietrich on the left elbow. Dietrich, they back away from him. Now drives in, goes and draws some contact on Luke Wright. They'll head to the free throw line. The shot did not fall. That'll be number two on Wright. Josh Dietrich heading to the line. Dietrich had not attempted a free throw yet this season, so this will be the first one here tonight. Titans just one of two at the line so far. Dietrich, normally a really good free throw shooter and knocks that one down. He's had a really good career for the Titans. They lead it here 31 to 25. Check out our video and audio broadcast. You can find it by going to YouTube and uh, searching 1380 KCIM. Brett Luck standing over here to my right running our video broadcast. And again, it's powered by New Way Ford in Cougar Rapids. Dietrich knocks down both free throws. Great way for family outside of the area to be able to watch these games, not just listen to them, but watch the audio, watch the game, and listen to the audio at the same time. All of it there on YouTube. Tony Clare drives in, his shot up and good. Tony Clare with his first one, a 6-1 sophomore. I know Coach Bontrager's had some nice things to say about the development of that young man. Wheelock with it, gets it off now to Leitner. Leitner back over to Wheelock on the left side. He's grown a few inches since last year. Leitner left elbow jumper, no good. Got his own rebound, fade away up and no good. Rebound loose on the floor, picked up by Vondrat. 32-27, pass by Vondrat over the head that time and Tyler Schmidt down in the corner. It'll go out of bounds off of the Raiders. So a turnover on Isak when they had a chance to cut this to a one possession ball game. Coach Bontrager not happy. With that, Bata with it down in the right corner. Now to Leitner. Over at to Clark on the left side. Clark penetrates down. Now works it over up top to Wheelock. Long three up, no good. And the battle for the rebound taken down by Joe Clark. His first of the ball game. Leitner now driving in. Runner up off the glass, no good. Dietrich with the rebound and fouled by Tyler Schmidt from behind. So that time Dietrich did a great job of boxing out Schmidt. Two really good athletes right there. Two ter tremendous young kids as well. That'll be team foul number three on the Raiders. Luke Wright will check out. Checking in for the first time, Luke Wernemont for Isak County. Bata inbound on the baseline. Comes up top. Dietrich fakes the pass to the left side. Throws up the three. It's no good. And the rebound taken down by Tyler Schmidt. His sixth. Vondrak looking to bring it up, a reach in foul now going to go on Wheelock. That one may be an unnecessary one, 3.30 left here in the first half. 32-27 in favor. 
of South Central Calhoun. Raiders with the basketball. Vondrak up across half court to Schmidt. They work it to Ornamut, down to the corner to Vondrak. Vondrak again to Schmidt, back to Vondrak on that left wing. Vondrak looking to bring it up top, and we're going to get an offensive foul on Aiden Vondrak. Going to say that when Wheelock jumped out in front of him that he gave a little bit of a push. So the foul going to be on him. That'll be his first and the team's fourth. Leitner off to Clark, right back to Leitner. Leitner with it up top, finds it Dietrich out on the left wing. Back out and up top to Leitner. To Clark in the lane, finds the cutter. Dietrich layups up in good. Clark with the assist. Great cut that time by Dietrich after a nice cut into the middle from Clark to get open. And then Clark found him cutting. 34-27. That was good ball movement and just good court awareness and good basketball knowledge by those young guys. Claris shot up no good. The rebound taken down that time up by Bata, his fourth. They get it to Dietrich. Dietrich drives in, but they're going to call him for the travel instead. Brody Beckman will check back in now for... East Sac County, he'll check in for Tony Clare. 241 left, Roselle Mutual halftime report coming up. Again, Jason Phillips and one of the Raider girls scheduled to join us here. Vondrak brings it up. Leitner comes out to put some light pressure on him. Over to Beckman, inside now to Schmidt. Schmidt goes up and going to draw a foul, and that's going to go on Dietrich. That'll be two on Josh Dietrich. Team foul number six on the Titans here in the half. Schmidt at the line to shoot a pair. He is at one of a one there tonight. And the first of two is up in no good. Came in as a 50% free throw shooter on the season. Titans looking to go to two and zero on the year. Raiders are looking to even that record at one and one. Tuckwork will check in now for Dietrich. You probably won't see Josh the rest of this half. Don't need him picking up a third here. Over the final 229, Schmidt second free throw rolls around the rim. It's up no good. Luke, Luke Wright battled for the rebound, but Clark will pull it down at four South Central Calhoun. Leitner now knocks down the runner on the other end. Tyler Leitner extends that lead back to nine at 36-27. And now we get a block call. And that is going to go on Leitner as Vondrak trying to make a move up top. Leitner tried to jump in front of him and take the charge. That's going to be his second. Team foul number eight, a one and one coming up here for Aiden Vondrak. Vondrak has not attempted a free throw yet tonight, 50% on the season. We'll have some post-game interviews hopefully coming up following this one as well. Vondrak knocks down the jumper, or the free throw, I should say. 36-28. Second one upcoming, it's on the way. It's up good as well. And that'll make it now 36 to 29. Work it over to Leitner or to Wheelock. Now off into the hands of Bata. Back to Wheelock, to Clark. Clark, left elbow jumper up no good. And the rebound taken down by Tyler Schmidt. That's going to be his seventh. Von Drack will bring it up the floor. Left side it comes. Eichhorn with it up to Beckman. Back now to Schmidt. Triple team gets in between the triple team. Step through move and lays it up and in. He's got such great footwork and he is so explosive around the rim. He's quick and then he can out jump almost everybody in the gym every night. Wheelock down to Calcorf. Now inside to Clark. Kick out pass to Wheelock. Wheelock pull up jumper off the baseline. Nice move to get open. Luke Wright comes up though with the rebound off the miss. That'll be number three for Wright over to Vondrak. 36-31, our score. They go inside again to Schmidt. He's going to be bumped and fouled by Kelkworth. And that is going to be number one on him. Titans led this one 25-21 at the end of the first quarter. They've outscored him 11-10 here in the second quarter to extend that to a five-point lead. But Tyler Schmidt at the line. One of three tonight. Front end of the one and one is up in good. That cuts it back to a four-point game at 36-32. Second free throw up good as well, and we've got a one-possession game here late in the half. Don't forget KCIM Sports Rewind on it Tuesday mornings, 9.30 to 10 o'clock on KCIM. 
Weak side rebound that time for Ethan Meyer. Up top now, three-point shot by Wheelock. No good. Schmidt comes up with a rebound. Off to Von Drank. Myself, Jeff Honnold. When he can get his scooter into the ball game, is there. Joe Clark tips that one out of bounds. Uh, Jeff works pretty hard anymore. He was retired for the first 50 years or so, but... <laughs> Even Brett got a chuckle out of that one. <laughs> Jeff's been helping us for a long time and appreciate all he does for Carol Broadcasting. Coach McCullough will like it that I'm picking on him, though. Those two, those two kind of go back and forth. Same with Coach Case. Bata gets it after the steal from Meyer. They get it back out to Meyer. He knocked down a three earlier and knocks down another one here. So he gets the steal on one end, gets the three on the other end, the senior. Let's put the Titans back on top, 39 to 33. Schmidt over to Dross. Drost on the right side, gets it down to the baseline. Inside now to Schmidt on the block. Goes up over the double team and lays it up and in. Tyler Schmidt with a big first half, keeping the Titans in this one. Down 39-35, long three by Wheelock up no good. Schmidt with another rebound, his ninth. He's got nearly a double-double here in the first half. Andrak over to Schmidt, Schmidt with it. Going to fire up a three with six seconds left. It was a step back. It's a little short. Battle for the rebound taken down by Kalkworth. Wheelock shot at the buzzer up no good. And we are through one half of play. 39-35 in favor of South Central Calhoun. We'll step away, take a break. We've got a Roselle Mutual halftime report. That is coming up next right here on Kick 106.7. Working as a team to achieve success is the only way towards victory. Hi, this is Kelly Danner. Having teammates that have your back isn't just for game day. It's important when it comes to your insurance coverage too. Roselle Mutual and Grinnell Mutual are here to provide you with a winning lineup of quality insurance no matter what your needs are. Give us a call today at 792-4525 for your commercial, farm, home, and auto insurance needs. Roselle Mutual proudly insuring the area since 1876. This is Iowa, and Avala Bank has called Iowa home since 1870. With 17 locations across the state, we're proud to be part of your community. Right now, you can open an Avala Bank Simply Free checking account for you or your business and get a new debit card immediately. We'll even buy your old bank's unused checks. Stop by or visit us online to see how we're making better banking available for you. Avala Bank, member FDIC. The door to rewarding career opportunities is closer than you think. All you have to do is open it. DMAX Carroll Campus is your gateway to in-demand rewarding careers. You can even earn a four-year degree on campus thanks to a partnership with UNI and Buena Vista University. It's all waiting for you at the DMAC Carroll Campus. So open the door to a better life at DMAC in Carroll today. DMAC, life's calling. One of the best kept secrets in Carroll is JP Flooring. I was looking to replace the floor in a couple rooms at home. It can be super overwhelming with all of the options available. I popped by JP Flooring and was super surprised and impressed with the showroom and selection. I had no idea how extensive their product lines were. They have a designer on staff that helped me narrow down what I was looking for. When you change your floors, it changes the whole character of a room. I used their product visualizer and could literally see in advance what the styles would look like in my room. I totally recommend JP Flooring in Carroll. Family owned and operated since 1948, Quant Auto Salvage is the area's best full service scrap facility. Whether you are looking to sell scrap iron, vehicles, or batteries, or you need to locate that difficult to find part for your vehicle, they have what you need. And if it isn't in stock, they can locate it with their nationwide parts database, or you can pull it yourself at their You Pull It. Quant Auto Salvage. They sell the best and recycle the rest on Kitty Hawk Avenue in Carroll.
Mutual Insurance is a proud sponsor of tonight's uh, halftime show. Roselle Mutual believes in the value of youth activities to help develop uh, the adults that will be our future community leaders. They are your hometown teammates for commercial, farm, home, and auto insurance needs. Give them a call, 712-792-4525. Talking right now with some ESAC Raiders. Got Carly Fisher standing here. One of her favorite things to do is to, to interview. And, and Carly, I appreciate you coming up. I, I know a tough start here tonight. Kind of a slow start for yeah. you and the girls tonight. Uh, you knew they were going to come out with some pressure. Was their pressure different than you anticipated tonight? I don't think it was different than we anticipated. I think they came out pushing more than we thought we were. We weren't expecting it. And... It just caught us off guard. Tough first quarter, but a better second quarter. Yeah. Talk about what started to work for you guys in the second quarter here tonight. First quarter, we had to just kind of get in the groove, know what they were doing, and get ourselves out of our heads. And then once we kind of got in a better mental state, we started running our offense, actually running it, and getting some open looks. So that helped a lot. What were you guys trying to do offensively uh, that you weren't doing early on? And I'm smiling because Coach is sitting over here listening to your interview. <laughs> Um, they kept changing defense, and they were in zone, back to man, zone, back to man. So we had to read what they were doing and then decide what play we were running. And a lot of girls weren't in their heads tonight, so a lot of offense wasn't being run. But once we had the girls in there that were running it, it started working. Three games into this season, where's this team at right now? Where can this team go? You're one of the senior leaders on this group. Um, working progress. We've always been a team that starts slow. We have a tough schedule always before Christmas, always have. But I think we'll keep improving as we keep going, and people won't expect what we come and do after Christmas. Yeah, you guys made a great run last year in the postseason. This team capable of doing that again, you think, this year? Oh, definitely. I think we have a lot of intelligent basketball smarts on this team, and once we start working together and knowing plays better, we'll definitely kick it in the butt. Well, I tell you what, Carly, I appreciate you coming up. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you here. Thanks, Jeff. You bet. Carly Fisher again with the ESAC Raiders. We're going to get head coach Jason Phillips now uh, on the headphones. And, and, Coach, you were standing literally. We're kind of crowded up here in the postgame area here tonight. Uh, you were standing right next to, to Carly. You, you smiled a little bit when she said you guys weren't running the offense. Um, it, it seems like that bothered her a little bit here tonight, that, that things weren't clicking the way she feels they should. You know, it – it's back to the old adage of girls basketball. If you get bumped a little bit too much, you sometimes don't do what you're supposed to do. And, you know, we've talked about it a lot. You know, you got to weather that bumping in the grind. And, uh, you know, we didn't do a very good job of that tonight. And But, you know, the girls, they work hard at it, and, and, and they know what to do. It's not that they don't. It's just, like I said, when, when you get bumped a little bit and you're not used to it, you know, you don't play as well as you should maybe. And, and I think that's, you know, kind of what happened. Were they just forcing you guys out a little farther than you wanted them to start the offense a little tonight? From my advantage up here, it looked like you were starting well behind the three-point line a lot of times. You know, we, we've kind of switched to starting our offense a little bit so we get a little bit more room underneath. Okay. But they do play good, you know, help side defense. And, and uh, but, but when you don't run your offense yeah. and you don't cut when you're supposed to cut <laughs> and you don't reverse the ball when you don't, you know, when you need to reverse the ball, you, you're going to look that way. You know, and it's it, and they know it. You know, that's the that's the best part. You know, right? I mean, yep. they they they're like like Carly said, they're very intelligent young ladies on the basketball yes. floor. You know, they have a good IQ on that. And uh, you know, we we've been a little sick all all week. We had a couple girls gone for sickness. Um, we had some issues with other things. And you know, so when you when you don't have a good couple days of practice, you know, when you play a good team, that's what's going to happen. And uh, you know, I'm. I'm, I'm disappointed, but I also know that, you know, we'll come to play again, and uh, we'll, we'll be there. I told you this last year, you don't want to play us in the end of the year. Yeah. I think we're a little bit better than we were last year at this time. Uh, we moved the ball better. Um, we had some younger girls step up tonight yep. um, that haven't got a lot of playing time, and I was really, I was really happy with, with, those, with those girls, um, you know, and, and that – that's huge for us because if we can get nine girls to play instead of seven or six, you know, that's going to be even better for us because we're going to start pushing the ball a little bit harder. I imagine two of those girls tonight, Kendall Cork, I thought she rebounded the ball really well. I think I had her unofficially tonight for nine boards, and Lily Beckman also came in and played pretty well. And you can tell both of them are still new to it and, and still trying to figure it out, but they're playing hard for you. And, and they are playing hard. And, and I told, you know, the freshman, I said, you don't worry about anything. You just play hard, okay? Don't try to do more than you're capable of. 
you play defense and box out, and we'll be good to go. And Lily, you know what? She seems like she's always in the right place at the right time, and I don't know why, you know, but she's got that kind of that sense of if I just slide over here, the ball's going to come to me, and it does <laughs> every once in a while. So, you know, that that's exactly right, you know. So that's that's a positive, um, and that's what you got to look at for all, you know, for this game, the positives there. You know, we still kept them under 60 or whatever yep. it was. I don't know what it was, but, you know, so we didn't play terrible defense. But, you know, when you don't run your offense down there and then you got to come down here and play defense, sometimes it's not, you know, it's not the best things, and, 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 they, and they're a good team. Well, Coach, I tell you what, I'll be back up on Thursday next week against OIBCIG. I have a feeling I'll see a different team for you guys that night than I saw tonight. As you said, this team's just going to keep getting better. Yep, we are. So, thank you. You bet. Head Coach Jason Phillips again with the ESAC Raiders again. The girls are falling earlier tonight as they lose again to South Central Calhoun, 58-22. Let's go ahead and quickly run you through here as you're listening to the Roselle Mutual Halftime Report. Roselle Mutual Insurance, get a proud sponsor of tonight's halftime show. Roselle Mutual believes in the value of youth activities to help uh, with our become our future adults and future community leaders. They're your hometown teammates for commercial, farm, home, and auto insurance needs. Give them a call, 712-792-4525. Quick look at our scoring here in the first half. Uh, South Central Calhoun, three of four from the free throw line. Joe Clark uh, goes off for seven points. Uh, Josh Dietrich had 11. Uh, Gavin batted with three. Those were the opening three of the game. Eli Wheelock with seven. Uh, Tyler Leitner with uh, five. And Ethan Myers with six. For uh, Esac County here, uh, they were five of nine from the free throw line. Aiden Mondrak with four. It was uh, Tyler Schmidt with a 22, Kale Niehaus with a five, Luke Wright two, and Tony Clare with a two. So that is our scoring here in the first half. Isak down here 39 to 35. They'll have the ball to start the second half. Tyler Schmidt named our Outlaw Graphics Regional Athlete of the Week. That's every Friday we announce that, a girls and a boys. Tyler Jansen from Glidden was our girls, and Tyler Schmidt, our boys, the way he's playing tonight, he's got a shot to do that again. Eli Wheelock comes up with a steal as we start this second half. And quickly down on the other end, Tyler Leitner with a basket. And the Titans start the second half like they started the first half with a two-point lead, and they lead it now 41-35. to Jumper up from Dross, no good. Leitner comes up with a rebound. I'll get it off to Wheelock. Now off to Dietrich. He'll fire up the three. It's up in good. 44-35 now in favor of South Central Calhoun. Dietrich knocks down his second, and we're now going to get a timeout called by East San County. Quick timeout that time from Todd Bodentrager. We'll step away with him back in 30 seconds here on at Kick 106.7. At Carroll County Solid Waste, we deliver environmental services together. Why together? Because together we're stronger and more effective. We're proud to partner with you to recycle plastics. Recyclable plastic will have the number one or two inside the recycle symbol. It's generally a food, beverage, soap, or cleaner container. Make sure they're empty, give them a quick rinse if possible, and put the cap back on. These plastics are not recyclable. They belong in the trash. Visit our website at carrollcountylandfill.com for details of how you can be part of the recycling team because together, everyone achieves more. Demihaus now inside to Schmidt. He's going to be bumped and fouled. And if that's on Josh Dietrich, which he's looking like it's going to be the call, and it is, that is going to be number three. On Josh Dietrich, we could see Antonio Sanders come in. Coach Clive Clark stands up, now sits back down. He's going to trust Dietrich not to pick up a fourth one here. Aiden Vondrak will lob it in. They'll get it into Beckman on the left wing. Beckman penetrates in, knocked to the floor. Goes it down hard, and they're going to call him for the travel. Tyler Leitner will pick him up. Coach Vondrager didn't like that call. Probably felt he was tripped. Leitner brings it up, gets it off to Bata, back to Leitner out high on the right side to Clark at the free throw line. Clark, pass tipped and stolen away. Von Drack tipped it to himself, his second steal of the ball game. They get it inside through the fingertips of Wright. Schmidt saves it, but into the hands of Leitner. Leitner will drive it ahead, scoop shot. It's going to be blocked out of bounds, and it'll be last touch by Esac County. It'll stay with the Titans. Titans got up by about eight or nine a couple of different times in that first half, and then it was Esac County rallying back every single time. 
They get it into Wheelock up top now to Dietrich, and we're going to get a whistle on a foul, and that's going to go on Brody Beckman. So Beckman, the 5'11 sophomore, will pick up his first. Each team with a foul now here in the second half. Leitner with it, penetrates that top of the zone defense. Runner up, no good. Schmidt with another rebound. He's now got a double-double unofficially. Vondrak will bring it up. Titans do a nice job getting back defensively. Vondrak drives in, layup no good. And Wilson on a foul. And that's going to go on South Central Calhoun. Looks like that one's going to go on Gavin Bada. And that will be the call. That'll be number one on the 6-2 sophomore. 6-19 left here in this third quarter. Free throw on the way up. No good for Vondrak. Vondrak now two of three at the line tonight. More basketball for you tomorrow uh, here on kick. I'll have uh, Dennis and Schleswig at Kemper. Second free throw, no good. Dietrich comes down with a rebound. His fourth of the ball game. So the Raiders miss an opportunity there. We'll see if the Titans can extend this into double digits. Clark gets it over high on the right side to Wheelock. Back over to the left side to Bata. Bata with it. Back over now to the right side to Wheelock. Down to the baseline at two light, or to Dietrich. Back. To Wheelock, out high on the right side. Left side, it comes to Bata. Bata will drive to the elbow. Dump pass inside, knocked away by Schmidt. And into the hands of Niehaus. Vondrak brings it up, works it to Niehaus. Down to the left of baseline to Schmidt. Picked up there by Bata. Now helped out by Leitner. Lobs it back to Vondrak. Vondrak with it over to Beckman. Beckman back to Vondrak. Vondrak down the left side. Works it to, to Lay Schmidt. And did we get a timeout? We did. We got a timeout called by Esac County. Timeout before the shot taken that time from Tyler Schmidt. 5.33 left in the third quarter. We've got a one-minute timeout. We're going to take a one-minute break. We're back in one minute here on Kick 106.7. Olson's Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and Ski-Doo, trailers to tackle any job from h and Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way in lawn and garden equipment with great products from x Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory train technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll. This is Iowa, and Avala Bank has called Iowa home since 1870. With 17 locations across the state, we're proud to be part of your community. Right now, you can open an Avala Bank Simply Free checking account for you or your business and get a new debit card immediately. We'll even buy your old bank's unused checks. Stop by or visit us online to see how we're making better banking available for you. Avala Bank, member FDIC. Don't forget, uh, we've got our live video being uh, powered by New Way Ford in Coon Rapids. Go to uh, YouTube and search 1380 KCIM. You can watch and listen to the ball game as it's happening here. Like Brett Luck standing over here running the camera and running and producing the show, really, running all the commercials for it. We thank all of our video sponsors as well. Von Drack with it. Raiders down here 44 35. Struggled here in this third quarter. They were down 39 35 at halftime. Niehaus gets it into Schmidt. Double team comes, turnaround jumper up in good. He's got a nice little soft shot. And he'll cut it down to a seven point game here at 44 37. Long three now by Bada, and he'll drain his second three of the ball game. That time from about 26 feet. Not quite Steph Curry range, but getting out there. Vondrak drives in, now off to Niehaus, back over to Beckman, lob pass tipped by Leitner, and now it's bouncing around, and we're going to get a whistle and a foul, and that is going to go on Tyler Leitner. Oh, that one's a questionable one, simply because it was two guys hustling after the ball. Not saying a bad call, but it was just two guys going after the ball. The ball had kind of gotten tipped around. Uh, there was contact, but it was just two players hustling after the ball. Ten-point lead right now for the Titans. Raiders with the basketball. Leitner and Vondrek. Leitner goes to the floor over to Schmidt, down to Beckman. He'll drive in, dumps it in now to Schmidt. Going to be backed under by Leitner. No call. Wheelock comes up with the steal and the layup on the other end. Leitner maybe got away with one on that one as he backed underneath Schmidt that time. So go inside now to Luke Wright. Turnaround jumper up in good for the 6'3 sophomore. Titans lead back to 10 at 49-39. Tony Clare getting set to check in. Bata over to Leitner. 
Now inside to Clark, just inside the left elbow jumper up in good. Leitner will pick up the assist. Joe Clark's got nine here tonight. First point for him in the second half. It's 51-39. Vondrak up top over to the right elbow. Now to Beckman on the right wing. Back to Vondrak, left side Niehaus. They find Schmidt at that right block. He'll drive down, excuse me, left block, and the layup up no good. And the rebound taken down by Sanders for South Central Calhoun. Titans a chance to separate. Bad to get a fire up another long three. This one no good. And the rebound taken down that time by Schmidt. Ahead now to Vondrak. He'll drive in. Vondrak over to the right side to Beckman. Inside to Luke Wright. Right with it. Goes up. Shot up no good. And... We're going to get out of bounds. They're going to say the last touch by Joe Clark, who stumbled backwards out of bounds. Gilbert up on Carroll, 14 to 9 after one. That's in boys basketball. Beckman inbound. Lobs it into Schmidt over on the left of baseline. Now off to Claire. He'll drive in. Runner in the lane up. Six on the rim and falls in. So Tony Clare are going to knock that one in, and now we've got an official stop in the game here for a second, having a conversation with some of the players. This is a rivalry game, so these two teams both want to win this one pretty bad. Leitner will bring it up, gets it off now to Clark. Clark out to Wheelock. He'll drive in, right elbow jumper, left it short. And the rebound taken down that time by Tyler Schmidt. Schmidt just went and got that one. Beckman will get it up across half court. Three minutes left here in the third. And now Leitner trying to steal on Beckman, going to pick up the foul. And that is going to be, I've got him for four now here in the ballgame. Leitner frustrated with himself, the 5'10 junior. And he's going to have to come out of the ballgame as Ethan Myers will check in. Tyler Schmidt. Well, inbound right in front of the scorer's table. Now get it into the backcourt now to Caleb Eichhorn. Eichhorn off to Beckman. Beckman with it. Back over to Eichhorn on the right side. Inside to Luke Wright. Double team comes down. Throws it inside to Claire. Shot blocked by Sanders. Banna will come up with a rebound. That's number five for him. Off to Wheelock. Takes it down to the left corner. Gets it off now to Clark. Over to the left side. Banna three on the way up. No good. And the rebound taken down by Tony Clare. Claire with it, gets it off into the hands now of Beckman. Beckman will bring it up across half court. Works it on the left side to Tyler Schmidt, inside now to right, kick pass, tip stolen away by Wheelock. Wheelock with his third steal, drives down, knocked away by Beckman, it's loose on the floor, and that time Wheelock tipped it out to Sanders, now to bat a pull up jumper at the free throw line up, good, count the basket, and he'll draw the foul. The lead is at 12 for the Titans here at 53-41. Gavin Bata at the line. First trip for him there tonight. Free throw on the way is up, sits on the back of the rim and falls in. Bata had not attempted a free throw yet this season. Able to knock down his first one. And now jumping the pass lane is at Joe Clark. And Clark going to have it knocked away and it fouled on the play. And that's going to go on Beckman. So Brody Beckman will pick up his second. Team foul number three here in the half against the Raiders. And Drost and Bott. Rec will check in. Claire and Beckman will check out for Esac County. Meyer over to Bata, down to the left corner to Wheelock. Back to Bata, now left wing. Back down to Wheelock in the left corner. Got Clark working down on the block. Back to Bata. Raiders sitting in a 2-3 zone. Three on the way at short. Clark with the rebound, knocked away, and a foul. Going to go on Aiden Vondrak, his second. Team foul number four on the Raiders. Minute 48 left here in this third quarter. 54-41. 13-point lead for the Titans, their largest of the game. Clark will lob it into Wheelock up top, over to the right side to Bata, back now to Wheelock. Left side, it comes to Meyer. He'll fire up a long three. It's up no good, and the rebound taken down by Clark. Gets it into the lane now to Meyer, and Meyer will back it back out. 
Meyer with it out high right side to Clark up top. They split up top, drives into the lane. Kick pass over to the right side. Bata, Bata pump fake. Floater from the free throw line up in good. Gavin Bata showing all the moves here tonight. Uh, just a good three-point shooter, 55 at 241 at Titans. They're starting to pull away here. Actually, 56, I should say, to 41. Ron Drack with it. Penetrates down the left side. Left-handed layup up no good. And a whistle on a foul going to go against South Central Calhoun. I think that's going to go on Sanders. And that'll be the call. Sanders will pick up his third. So Dietrich and Sanders each with three. Leitner with four. And Aiden Vondrak, who's two of four at the free throw line, heads back to shoot two more for East Sac County. Free throw on the way is up and no good. Kalkworth will check in now for Sanders. Niehaus will check in at four right. Second free throw coming up here for Vondrak. It's on the way. It's up and good. 56 to 42. Three by Meyer up no good. A rebound taken down up by Wheelock. His second shot up no good. And Tyler Schmidt clears a rebound number 13 here tonight. He'll bring it up for the Raiders. Gets it off to Niehaus. Back to Schmidt. Bumped. Gets into the lane. Shot up over the rim. No good. Rebound tipped around. It's going to be out of bounds. And it's going to be a Raider basketball. Schmidt maybe got away with an over the back on that rebound attempt, but he knew he had missed that one right away, so right away started to follow it. Rondrak sits up at the free throw line, and that time, great steal by Wheelock, and then throws it off of the leg that time of Weston Drost, and Isak will turn it over on a great effort by Eli Wheelock. 40 seconds left here in the third. Wheelock with it out high on the right side. Now gets it up to Meyer near the half-court circle. Back over to Wheelock. Titans might be holding it for the final shot here of this third quarter. Wheelock goes up high on a high pass that time from Clark. Now over to Kalkworth. Back out to Wheelock. 25 seconds left. Pump fake. Drives down on the baseline. Bumped and fouled by Aiden Vondrak. That'll be number three on Vondrak. Coach Bontrager looking down the bench, see what he wants to do. He's going to put Luke right into the ballgame for him. Our new way forward feature vehicle of the night. Again, a 2013 Avalon sedan. It's a front-wheel drive. Call 800-861-7268 for more details. Gavin Bata with it. Now off to Meyer. Back up to Bata. Fires up a three. Thuds off the back of the rim, but drops down through for Gavin Bata. Bennett now in at double digits here tonight. It's 59 to 42. Schmidt over to the left side. Drost with it. Bounce pass into Schmidt. Turnaround jumper. It's up no good. Schmidt going to get his own rebound. The shot is good, but no good as it came after the buzzer. And we are through three quarters of play. 59 at 42. South Central Calhoun. Titans outscore the Raiders 20 to 7 in that third quarter. Fourth quarter, one minute away here on kick 106.7. At Town and Country. From puddings to framing to finish. For farm, home, or commercial. For more than 90 years, Wallach Lumber Company has been proud to help our communities grow. With four convenient locations and one of the largest building material inventories in the area, we are sure to be able to fill all your building needs. From project design and estimating to friendly advice, we can't wait to be part of the process for you. Wallach Lumber, with locations in Wallach, Lakeview, Odebolt, and Carroll. We're not your grandpa's lumber yard. Olson's Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and Ski-Doo, trailers to tackle any job from H&H, Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way in lawn and garden equipment with great products from x Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory train technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll. Welcome you back here on uh, Kick 106.7. Jeff Blankman uh, with you here tonight. Nathan Cohn's back in the studio. Gavin Bata feeling unconscious here in the second half. Knocks down his fourth three of the ball game. The lead is at 20 for South Central Calhoun. Niehaus with it, flips it up top. Stolen away by Myers. 
Myers out on the break. The layup is up in good on the other end. Ethan Myers playing well off the bench for South Central Calhoun, and the lead is now 22 at 64-42. Schmidt with it. Goes behind the back, penetrates in. Runner up, no good. And the rebound taken down by Gavin Bad. I've got him for six boards here tonight. They'll get it back to him. Pump fake, drives down. On the left side, kick pass over to the right side. Myers three up, no good. Weak side rebound taken down by Niehaus uh, for Esac County. Gavin Bad right now, 17 points. Six boards here in the game. Draws trying to throw it inside, gets it into Schmidt. Double, splits through the triple team and going to draw a foul and get himself to the free throw line. That'll be the sixth team foul, so that may not be free throws. I don't think they're going to say it was in the active shooting. Kalkworth will pick up the foul. That'll be number two on Jacob. Eichhorn will check out. Vondrak will check in. He'll inbound the ball. Raiders have their starting five on the floor. Vondrak trying to get it inbounds. Lobs it to Niehaus at the free throw line. Now off to Luke Wright, who's in the lane. A little short shot up, no good. Got his own rebound, but stripped and stolen away by Clark. Nice defense that time on the strip by Clark. And down on the other end, layup up, no good. Niehaus will come up with a rebound. The Raiders down 64-42 early here in the fourth quarter. Niehaus bounce pass inside to right. And Kalkworth are going to pick up his third. That'll be a one and one as that is the seventh team foul. So Luke Wright will head to the line. First trip for him tonight. Has not made a free throw yet this season. First one on the way is up and good. So Luke Wright, now he's got five points here in the ballgame. Raiders down 64-43. Second free throw coming up here at four right. It is on the way. It is up no good, and Sanders will come down with the rebound. Sanders with his second board here today. Gavin Bada about a 28-footer up and no good. A rebound taken down by Clark. Kick pass over to the right side, and the three by Wheelock no good. Sanders has the rebound lost, and it's loose on the court. And are we going to get a jump ball eventually? Yes. We do finally get the jump ball call. That one took a little bit of time, but they've made that call. Usually they're fairly quick. As soon as you get two or three guys on the floor, they that ball was kind of bouncing around in there, so nobody, no two players really had it for a while. Niehaus with it left side, gets it up top now to Vondrak. Vondrak works it back out to Niehaus, three off the left side, up in good. Vondrak finds it, Kale Niehaus for his second three. He's got eight here in the ball game. First points for him in the second half, 64-46. Clark with it, drives in, jump stop move, a little floater up over the front of the rim, no good. Schmidt unofficially now with 15 rebounds tonight for Eastside County. Vondrak lobs it over the head that time at right. It hit the backboard, it bounces out to Meyer. Meyer will be credited with a rebound on that, his second of the game. Now to Clark, left side to Meyer. Clark with it back up top, over to Meyer on the left side. Meyer with it, back now over to Bata, way out high on the right side, back off now to Meyer. And work it over to, to Wheelock. Good ball movement by the Titans. Clark with it just inside the left elbow. Back to Bada. Now to Clark. Clark just inside that left elbow. Pull up jumper. No good. Gets his own rebound. The fifth of the ball game for Joe. Out to Wheelock. Wheelock. Works it to Bada. Now off it to Wheelock. Long three up. Good. Eli Wheelock with his second three of the ball game. 67-46 in favor of South Central Calhoun. Backdoor cut by Dross, layup no good. Sanders comes down with a rebound. They'll get it off to Myers. 11-3 so far on the night for South Central Calhoun. Meyer will drive in, bounce pass inside to Sanders. It was knocked away. Clark hustles it down in that left corner, now drives in, kick pass up to Bata. Three, no good. And the rebound to Luke Wright for Esac County. Off to Vondrak. 
Bontrack had Niehaus coming down the right side, missed him that time. He was looking left. And Niehaus was calling for it. They get it inside to Schmidt, goes up over the front of the rim and lays it up and in. Timeout on the floor, going to be called by Isak County. 67-48, our score. We're going to step away, take a break. Back in one minute here on Kick 106.7. At Newey Ford and Coon Rapids and Newey Auto and Jefferson, we make your vehicle buying experience stress-free. Our sales team will help determine your vehicle needs with options and features that you desire. Our finance team will explain financing terms and options best for each customer. Our service team is always here for you, from our Oil Changes for Life program to our exclusive warranty forever. We work to keep your Newey vehicle going long after the sale. Stop by and let our family help yours get into the next car, truck, or SUV. One of the best kept secrets in Carroll is JP Flooring. I was looking to replace the floor in a couple rooms at home. It can be super overwhelming with all of the options available. I popped by JP Flooring and was super surprised and impressed with the showroom and selection. I had no idea how extensive their product lines were. They have a designer on staff that helped me narrow down what I was looking for. When you change your floors, it changes the whole character of a room. I used their product visualizer and could literally see in advance what the styles would look like in my room. I totally recommend JP Flooring in Carroll. Everybody tuning in here tonight on Kick 106.7 as well as on our live video and audio broadcast on YouTube. Go to YouTube and search 1380 KCIM and that live video with the audio is powered by New Way Ford in at Coon Rapids. Gavin Batta with it for South Central Calhoun. They lead East Sac County 67-48, 3-40 left in this one. Wheelock penetrates in, leaves it off now for Batta. Ball knocked away, but coming up with it is going to be Leitner. He'll cross over and gets to the rim and lays it up and off the glass. Use the right hand off that left side. And the lead is back to 21 at 69-48. Drost with it, bounce pass inside to right. Right goes over to Schmidt. Schmidt, pump fake, attacks off of the baseline. Kick pass up top, Beckman. Beckman drives in, floater on the way up, no good. And the rebound tipped into the hands of Bata. Off to Wheelock. Wheelock will drive in, his runner in and out, no good. And Schmidt going to pull down another rebound. I've got him now for 16. Beckman drives in again. Shot up no good. A rebound batted into the hands that time of Beckman. And we've got a couple of injured guys down on the court. Josh Dietrich comes up with it. Antonio Sanders rolling around, holding on to the knee. He came down on top of Luke Wright. Hopefully the young man going to be all right. He's holding that left knee area. And Clive Clark quickly uh, to take a look at him. We're going to go ahead. We'll step away. We'll take a break back in 30 seconds right here on Kick 106.7. At Carroll County Solid Waste, we deliver environmental services together. Why together? Because together we're stronger and more effective. We're proud to partner with you to recycle plastics. Recyclable plastic will have the number one or two inside the recycle symbol. It's generally a food, beverage, soap, or cleaner container. Make sure they're empty, give them a quick rinse if possible, and put the cap back on. These plastics are not recyclable. They belong in the trash. Visit our website at carrollcountylandfill.com for details of how you can be part of the recycling team because together, everyone achieves more. You hate to see this. They're still attending to Antonio Sanders. His mom has come down out of the bleachers to talk to him, still grasping on to that left and knee. Such a terrific young guy. Got a chance to talk with him a little bit at our Rewind All-Star festivities for the volleyball and football kids here just a couple of weeks ago. And, and just a, a great kid. Um, and you can definitely tell he is in pain. Kevin Litter got up and made a quick phone call and walked out into the hallway. Um, so... We're going to step away. Uh, we're still in a delay here. We'll take a one-minute timeout back right after this on kick. Working as a team to achieve success is the only way towards victory. Hi, this is Kelly Danner. Having teammates that have your back isn't just for game day. It's important when it comes to your insurance coverage, too. Roselle Mutual and Grinnell Mutual are here to provide you with a winning lineup of quality insurance no matter what your needs are. Give us a call today at 792-4525 for your commercial, farm, home, and auto insurance needs. Roselle Mutual, proudly insuring the area since 1876. From puddings to framing to finish, 
for farm, home, or commercial. For more than 90 years, Wall Lake Lumber Company has been proud to help our communities grow. With four convenient locations and one of the largest building material inventories in the area, we are sure to be able to fill all your building needs. From project design and estimating to friendly advice, we can't wait to be part of the process for you. Wall Lake Lumber, with locations in Wall Lake, Lakeview, Odable, and Carroll. We're not your grandpa's lumber yard. Helping Antonio Sanders out of the gym here, but he is not putting any pressure on that uh, left knee again, and that is the area that he is holding, and he is very ginger uh, leaving uh, the gym here. Uh, and great thing to see is, is Mr. Cruz and, and uh, of course, Jason Phillips, the ESAC girls basketball coach, uh, the two players right now helping him out. Um, we have a timeout now on the floor uh, called by South Central Calhoun. We're going to step away back in one minute here on Kick 106.7. Working St. as a Anthony team. Regional Hospital, the regional leader in healthcare, dedicated to improving the health of the people they serve. At St. Anthony Regional Cancer Center, you'll find the convenience of cancer and oncology consultation and treatment in one convenient location. At St. Anthony Clinic, you'll find a team of doctors and nurses that care about you and your family's health. St. Anthony Clinic is devoted to comprehensive health care for people of all ages. For every stage of life, always look to the cross. Always St. Anthony. Can your roof handle extreme hail conditions? Ours can. Check it out. As you can see, our Brinks roof has stood up to the test with zero damage. As for our competitors, well, theirs did not. Is your roof worn out or needs repair? Know that not all roofers and shingles are created equal. If you need honest feedback whether your roof needs to be repaired or replaced, get a second opinion. And call the Roof Pros at Brinks Exteriors, 920 Roof Pro. here Luke Wright picks up the foul as Josh Dietrich takes it strong to the hole. Dietrich will head to the free throw line. Two of two at the line for him tonight. Make that three of three. Dietrich with 15 here tonight. And it's now a 70 to 48 score. A couple of quick college football scores. Utah up on Oregon 14 to nothing. Um, got a chance to extend that right before the halftime there at the Oregon 11 with about 30 seconds left. Uh, Western Kentucky trailing San Antonio 42 to 20 uh, that game uh, in the late in the first uh, late in the second half I should say for that one so those are some of the college championship games in their conferences Dietrich knocks down that second free throw Titans lead this one 71 48 Tyler Leitner comes up with his second steal 220 left here in the basketball game we lock with it up top now to Dietrich Dietrich over to we lock up top to Bada. Bada with the ball knocked inside. Schmidt comes up with a loose basketball. Tyler up across half court, nearly stolen that time by Leitner. Now get it off to Beckman. And we're going to get a hold call out top. That is going to go on Eli Wheelock. So Wheelock just picks up his second. And that'll put Brody Beckman at the free throw line for a one and one. That's the eighth team foul. Beckman had not attempted a free throw yet this season. Beckman's first free throw rattles around the rim and falls in. So first points here tonight for Brody Beckman makes it 71 to 49. Second free throw coming up. Tony Clare back in along with Western Drost. That one is good. This one hits nothing but the bottom of the net. So Beckman 2-2 two two at the line. And that makes it 71-50. to 50. Bata will bring it up. Minute 50 left in this one. Works it over on the right side to Leitner. Leitner going to penetrate in. Pull up jumper up and good. Nice strong move from Tyler Leitner. He's got 11 here tonight. 73-50 our score. Titans will have quite a few guys in double digits in this one. They've had a nice offensive performance here tonight. Knew this team had a chance to be pretty good this year. Tyler Schmidt fires up a three off the left side. Shot up no good. Luke Wright comes down with a rebound. Put back up no good. 
And the rebound taken down that time by South Central and Leitner lays it up and in on the other end. 75 now to 50 in favor of South Central Calhoun. Schmidt with it. Up top to Beckman, drives in over to Claire on the right baseline. Claire looking to drive in. Now backs it back out, picks up the dribble in a little bit of trouble, gets it to Dross. Dross tries to go inside to right ball, knocked away. Wright saves it, but into the hands of Cutworth. Stolen back away by Luke Wright, who knocks down the short jumper. 75 52, 70 seconds or 40 seconds left in this one. A Mackey Motors post game show coming up following the ball game here. Leitner with it. Crosses over, takes it over on the left side. Now off to Dietrich. Dietrich going to back it back out. It looks like South Central going to hold it and run the clock out. Ball comes loose. Tyler Schmidt now takes it down. Gavin Bata will put a light pressure on him, but lets him lay it up and in. 75 now 54. And that's probably going to be the final here as Leitner handling it out top, dribbling it around. He sat going to let him go under the basket. He won't take that shot. 75-54 going to be the final score here tonight as South Central Calhoun moves to 2-0 on the season. Isak will fall to 0-2. Mackey Motors postgame show starts next right here on Kick 106.7. to framing to finish. For farm, home, or commercial, for more than 90 years, Wall Lake Lumber Company has been proud to help our communities grow. With four convenient locations and one of the largest building material inventories in the area, we are sure to be able to fill all your building needs. From project design and estimating to friendly advice, we can't wait to be part of the process for you. Wall Lake Lumber, with locations in Wall Lake, Lakeview, Odable, and Carroll. We're not your grandpa's lumber yard. At Newey Ford and Coon Rapids and Newey Auto and Jefferson, we make your vehicle buying experience stress-free. Our sales team will help determine your vehicle needs with options and features that you desire. Our finance team will explain financing terms and options best for each customer. Our service team is always here for you, from our Oil Changes for Life program to our exclusive warranty forever. We work to keep your Newey vehicle going long after the sale. Stop by and let our family help yours get into the next car, truck, or SUV. Olson's Outdoor Power is your one-stop service and equipment shop for all things outdoor. We sell the best power sports products in the business from Polaris, Can-Am, Sea-Doo, and Ski-Doo, trailers to tackle any job from H&H, Triton, and Wilson, and we continue to lead the way in lawn and garden equipment with great products from x Dixie Chopper, Husqvarna, Cub Cadet, Steel, and Echo. Add factory train technicians in two locations, and it's easy to see why Olson's Outdoor Power is the leader in all things outdoor. Olson's Outdoor Power, your one-stop service and equipment shop with locations in Atlantic and Carroll.
Motors in Lake City. Good win for the South Central Calhoun boys here tonight as they looked at dominant, especially in that uh, second half. He sat kind of kept hanging around in that first half. Tyler Schmidt with a big game here tonight for him, but uh, he had some really good help in that first half. Uh, Kel Niehaus hit some shots. Aiden Vondrak hit some shots. And I thought that the Raiders defensively uh, had played pretty well in that first half. South Central Calhoun came out, though, in the third quarter after leading it 39-35 to and really put the game away in the third quarter, outscoring the Raiders 20-7. Gavin Bata knocked down some threes. Um, I thought they did a really good job defensively uh, against Tyler Schmidt, especially in the second half. He scored just six points, um, so credit them uh, with making some adjustments and, and kind of taking him away a little bit offensively in that second half, and uh, that, that hurt the Raiders' chances here tonight as, uh, you know, he's the guy that has to make them go, and I had him 28 points and. 16 rebounds tonight so it's hard to to not even give him the player of the game tonight and i haven't decided that yet well i'll, I'll talk about that with myself here um when i go to my break here in, in just a moment but uh, you know it's hard not to give it to him but uh, not much in the second half for him here tonight so credit uh that titan defense uh and then once they got that defense cranked up you could see the conf confidence even grow uh down on the offensive end uh, this is a team that's got a lot of weapons um they finished uh, with four guys in double digits, another guy with nine points, another guy with eight points. So they realistically had a chance to have six different players uh, in double digits tonight and six different guys scored for them uh, tonight as well. So um, look for this team to just continue to grow. What I like about this South Central team is they can shoot from the outside. They've got some really good three-point shooters, but they also can go inside. Um, Jake, uh, Joe Clark does a nice job in there. Joshua Dietrich. Um, it's tens this year, it seems like, at least tonight anyway, to spend a lot of time kind of outside the three-point line and not down in the block, but he can go in the block and kind of score um, whenever he wants. Uh, for Esac County, I think this team's going to get better. Uh, they, they've got to find some other guys to kind of score consistently here um, and, and do some things, uh, you know, to take a little bit of pressure off Tyler Smith. I think Kel Niehaus uh, has that capability. Um, liked what I saw a little bit here. I think Brody Beckman needs to look for a shot a little bit. I think Luke Wright will come on. Kel Niehaus, certainly a guy uh, that can uh, shoot the ball, I think, a little bit for him, uh, especially from the uh, outside. Uh, and even liked uh, Aiden Vondrak running the point. I think as the season goes on, he'll make some good decisions. He'll get guys open for shots. So I think this Raider team uh, going to get much better as the season goes on. But South Central in control here tonight as they win this one again by a final of 75-54. We're going to step away. We'll take a break. We're going to come back with more of our Mackey Motors postgame show. Hoping one of the coaches and one of the players from each of the team comes out. None of the coaches, none of the players were sure about it before this game started, so we may not get any postgame interviews. But we're back in two minutes right here on at Kick 106.7. Oh. Oh, Sophia. Whatever happens, we're here to protect you. Thank you. There's no room for fear in your dream home policy from American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. For details, contact Nicole Unken at Nicole Unken Agency. Call 712-792-1262 or stop by 412 Highway 30 today. Working as a team to achieve success is the only way towards victory. Hi, this is Kelly Danner. Having teammates that have your back isn't just for game day. It's important when it comes to your insurance coverage too. Roselle Mutual and Grinnell Mutual are here to provide you with a winning lineup of quality insurance no matter what your needs are. Give us a call today at 792-4525 for your commercial, farm, home, and auto insurance needs. Roselle Mutual proudly insuring the area since 1876. Can your roof handle extreme hail conditions? Ours can. Check it out. As you can see, our Brinks roof has stood up to the test with zero damage. As for our competitors, well, theirs did not. Is your roof worn out or needs repair? Know that not all roofers and shingles are created equal. If you need honest feedback whether your roof needs to be repaired or replaced, get a second opinion. And call the Roof Pros at Brinks Exteriors 920 Roof Pro. This is Iowa and Avala Bank has called Iowa home since 1870. With 17 locations across the state, we're proud to be part of your community. 
Right now, you can open an Avela Bank Simply Free checking account for you or your business and get a new debit card immediately. We'll even buy your old bank's unused checks. Stop by or visit us online to see how we're making better banking available for you. Avela Bank, member FDIC. here to wrap up our coverage here tonight as uh, again East Sac and South Central Calhoun scoring off Titans Bay taking both ends of this uh, doubleheader time to announce our motor in player of the game for this boys game here tonight not an easy decision a lot of players uh, had really good all around basketball games he mentioned Tyler Schmidt uh, from uh, East Sac County 28.6 uh, 16 rebounds for him um, for South Central Calhoun, Joshua Dietrich tonight, 16 points, 4 rebounds, a couple of steals. Gavin Bata, 17 points, 8 rebounds. Eli Wheelock finished with 12 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, and 3 steals. Tyler Leitner, 13 points to go with 4 rebounds, a couple of steals. So a lot of guys to choose from. As a lot of guys really played well here tonight. But uh, going to go with Gavin Bata. This was a tight game. Bata only had 2 points at the halftime, or 3, excuse me. He hit that 3 to start the game. But the way he came out, he kind of ignited South Central Calhoun, and it was his play in the third quarter that I thought really kind of stretched this lead and put it away for South Central Calhoun. So uh, we're going to go with it, Gavin Bata as our motor end player of the game. Quick look at our stats again tonight for South Central Calhoun. Joe Clark with 9, Joshua Dietrich 16, Gavin Bata 17, Eli Wheelock 12, Tyler Leitner 13, and Ethan Myers with 8. They were 6 of 7 from the free throw line for Eastside County. Aiden Vondrak 5, Tyler Schmidt 28, Kale Niehaus 8, Luke Wright 7, Tony Clare 4, and Brody Beckman with a 2. Girls win tonight from South Central Calhoun over Eastside County 58-22. It was South Central Calhoun winning the boys game 75-54. Does not look like anybody going to come out for post game interviews. We're going to wrap up our coverage. Again, South Central winning both ends of the double header. That's going to do it for us tonight. Check out our Brinks Exterior Sports Report for all of your information coming up later tonight. Tyler Bruner and I will write recap stories on every single sporting event in our area tonight. We'll get that up on our website at 1380kcim.com. Have a great night and weekend, everybody. <laughs>